Hi everyone. Today I am going to talk about the healing process of powder brows because as you know I already had my powder brows done a few weeks ago and I already also prepared some footage for you so you will see day by day how they look like. So first day it's always like almost always a little bit reddish if you use a little bit more organic ingredients inside your formula and it's really important to know what kind of uh, ingredients you are using in the pigment because then you can tell your client how it's how the brows will look so if you are using more inorganic ingredients you will see that your powder brows look really like earthy and beautiful but if you are using hybrid pigments with a little bit more organic ingredients brows can look a little bit warmer like a reddish yellowish orangey uh, i had both of these pigments together one pass was with one pigment and another pass was with another pigment so it looked a little bit earthy and also a little bit warmer but it was also because of my skin because i have quite sensitive skin so that was one of the reasons why first day was quite wild because i was very tired and my skin wasn't really nice but second day my brows looked perfect i was so happy because i really love them and even though second third and fourth day uh, they are becoming a little bit darker i still loved them so much even though i am light and i am too light for dark brows but i felt very confident and i really really liked them so i think around sixth or seventh day uh, my brows started to peel off you will see the footage and um, it wasn't really bad, but of course I saw some scabbing. You cannot touch your brows uh, during the whole healing process because you don't want to put bacteria inside and you don't want to destroy the scabbing, destroy your scabs. It has to stay on eyebrows. You cannot touch it. If you put the scab off, if you take it off, you can also take your pigment from the skin you don't want to do that it's a big no so this was around seven days it, it looked nice but um, it was a little bit patchy and even though i was in the work people still didn't really see that it looks a little bit weird and um eight nine ten day hello hello today is the day eight and i want to show you this brow is almost done with peeling process almost and look how it looks I am just I cannot believe this is my eyebrow look at that crazy I love them so much I'm trying not to get them wet I don't do any sports and I hope that next week today is a sun um, no today is a Saturday so Sunday tomorrow and I hope that from Monday I can go to gym but my brows are still not like done with the healing. I hope it will be done soon because it's very hard to do my skincare. It's very hard to take a shower. Sometimes I forgot, but I am very happy with this outcome. I, can, <laughs> I cannot even believe. Look at that. Look at the gradient. It's amazing. I love it. I will show you tomorrow too. Bye. It looked really patchy and the scabbing process was very quick. Normally, before when I had my brows done like one year ago, the scabbing process took two weeks approximately. And right now it took only a few days. And after my brows peeled off, they were a little bit lighter. So I am done with my shower and this is 12th day since I done my brows. And they look fabulous. But now, uh, I think today is around three weeks since I had my brows done and you can see there is nothing on them. They are becoming a little bit darker again and the color is just amazing. Keep in mind that even though the scabbing process is already done, they are still healing. Brows are still healing. Epidermis is still renewing itself. Epidermis first layer of the skin is renewing itself in approximately age of the client plus 10 days so you, older your client is 
longer is going to take to heal, uh, to, uh, for the skin to heal properly. So now I am in around three weeks and my brows already look perfect. I cannot wait how they are going to look in another three weeks because I know it's going to be even a little bit darker, but I already love them a lot. And what's really important and I didn't tell you is that during the whole process till your brows are fresh, so from the day one, till the scabbing process is completely done, you cannot do sauna, you cannot do sports, no gym, no water, no cosmetic um, ingredients like uh, acid, acids in general, because they can lighten your pigment. What is really, really important is to use SPF, I would say 50 plus, because you want to keep your brows away from damage, sun is destroying the pigment in general. Every ingredient in the pigment has its own light fast and scale number. Some pigments, they go very easy from the skin, some colors and some they go um, from the skin in approximately 12 to 18 months. So it's important to understand what kind of pigment you are using and to understand this light fast and scale because this is why pigments in general change color. So if you see that the pigment change color and you can see that your client has gray eyebrows after, for example, one year, it means that there is a lot of carbon black in it and this yellow, it goes away very quickly in approximately three to six months. And then it really depends on the other ingredients which are in the pigments, but this is really topic for another video. This is really what I want to talk about today is my healing process. I hope that you understood everything and you can maybe also send this video to your clients and then they know how it's going to look on a real person in real life so they will see it's okay when the when brows look a little bit crazy because sometimes they can look a little bit crazy and under the scab there is the color is very light and this is what I have the problem with my clients because of this because they think that the color didn't stay especially in the beginning because we will we do gradient and it's softer and of course when it heals it's even softer and this is what i basically prefer i really really love this kind of effect on the eyebrows because it looks super natural but i understand that some clients they maybe prefer darker uh, front part of the eyebrow which is normal you can make your uh, eyebrows you can make the um, pigment darker if you want on the correction procedure you can also change the shape a little bit you can make it a little bit thicker but only if you do it lighter on the initial procedure which is very important when I work on my clients I always use a little bit lighter pigment and I do shape a little bit like shorter and smaller and I am not very crazy with the gradient if I see that the client is not 100% confident with that especially if I have a client who has just few brow hair you have to be very very um, you have to you have to try to make it as close as possible to the brow hair otherwise it does not look really good when it heals so this is basically what I wanted to talk about today um, if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and I will also do a beautiful reel for my Instagram so stay tuned and I will see you in the next video bye